Hi everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the brand new feature in ClickFunnels 2.0 that has potential to replace your Zendesk or Intercom subscription and save you some money. This feature is called Message Hub and brings all the communication with your leads or customers into one place. So if you're using a ticketing system to provide support and communicate with your customers in different messengers, this video is for you. I'm honestly amazed at how powerful Message Hub and ClickFunnels 2.0 is and that it includes a lot of thoughtful details and features that Zendesk, for example, only offers on the higher plans. And all of that at the price of your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. Now, if you don't have a ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find the link to a free trial in the description of this video. And if you use our link to create your account, you will also get our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will also find the link to a package deal that will save you up to 50% on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription. Now let's dive into it. First thing, you may not even see Message Hub on your dashboard if you have not used it yet. To add it to your dashboard, click this plus icon, select Message Hub and click Add App. As you can see on this page, before you can start using Message Hub, you will need to add your domain and then set your from and reply to addresses. After that, you can click continue to Message Hub and give ClickFunnels a few moments to set everything up for you. Once the Message Hub is ready, it will look like this. Please keep in mind that ClickFunnels still may update some design and make some changes into the interface, but overall the principle and the core functionality will remain the same. Now let's go over the tabs that you have here. First of all, you have all conversations. Here you will see all conversations, all the messages incoming from various channels like emails, your live chat, different messages and so on. You can switch between the tabs, view only your conversations, unassigned, all conversations and you can also use the filter and the sorting option here. For example, if I want to view not just open conversations but all conversations, I would change the status here and apply the filter. Then you can view the messages where somebody mentions you. Then we have unattended conversations, so nobody has replied to those conversations yet. And you can take this ticket, for example, or this conversation and reply to it. Then we have chat labels, which will help you to sort the conversation and organize them. And the most important part here is chat inboxes. When you connect a website, a Facebook page, a messenger to message hub, it's called inbox. You can have unlimited inboxes in your message hub account and you can also connect different channels. In the dashboard, you can see all the conversations from all your inboxes in a single place and respond to them under the conversation step as we already saw it. And you can also see conversations specific to an inbox by clicking on the inbox name. Now you already have email and side channels automatically added to your message hub, but you will still need to finish the setup by following the instruction in the automated message that you will receive. It will be an automated message like this. And for example, to finish the setup of the email inbox, you will need to follow the steps in this guide that is linked here and configure the forwarding. By the way, it also makes sense to create a separate email address for the support tickets, because if you use your regular email address and set up the forwarding as mentioned here, all your emails will go to Message Hub. To add a new inbox, or in other words, to connect a new communication channel, you can click New Inbox, or go to the settings, chat inboxes, and then add inbox. Message Hub in ClickFunnels 2.0 supports live chat widgets, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, SMS, emails, Telegram, Line. And if you want to build a custom channel, you can create it using the API channel here. Now, as mentioned, we already have the site and the email channels added to the dashboard. And we're talking about the website that you have built in ClickFunnels 2.0 and that's connected to your workspace. And here you can edit the settings of these channels. 
You can edit different information, for example, change the website name, website domain, add some heading and tagline, then select the color for the widget, enable or disable channel greetings, enable customer satisfaction survey, and a lot of other settings that will allow you to customize your widget. You can go over them and after you're done, click update. You may also notice that we have other tabs here. For example, next you can add different collaborators, in other words, your support agents or salespeople by selecting the agents here. You can set the business hours that also will be visible on your live chat widget. Create a pre-chat form. Customize your widget. And last but not least, we have this code that is required to integrate the live chat widget. If you want to know how you can add this widget to your funnels or site in ClickFunnels 2.0, but also other external pages or sites, watch this tutorial. Now let's go back to the dashboard and see what other tabs and sections we have there. Next, we have the contact tab where you will see all the contacts that you have communication with. I also like that you can order and filter these contacts based on different parameters. You can manually add new chat contact, import or export the contacts, and also search for a contact. Another awesome thing is that you can send a message or an email straight from the contact tab. Here you will see the contact information and can add some notes. And if you want to send a message, click new message. Then select which inbox you want to use. I only have email connected, that's why I select email. Then you can select the subject and add the message here and send this message directly from the message hub. If I go to my inbox, I see this email already. And if I reply to this email, I will see a new conversation in the message hub. Let's do it. Now, if we go back to the message hub, there are a few updates here. First of all, we receive a notification about a new message. And we also see an unread message in all conversations or in the email inbox, because it was sent via email. When I open this conversation, I first of all see my initial message that I sent from the contact tab, and then I see my reply. And after that, you can just continue the conversation here directly in the message hub. Once the conversation is over, you can resolve it, and this changes the status. And before we move further, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. Next, we have chat reports with quite detailed analytics and also customer satisfaction score. I assume that in the future you may have the possibility to also build a help center here, but right now this feature is not complete. And I also like the detailed profile settings. First of all, you can select the status, then select if you want to be offline automatically. And if you go to the profile settings, you can change your profile information. You can select a signature for your messages, set some hotkeys for more productive work, and also select which notifications you want to receive about the messages. And last but not least, we have the settings tab. Here you can update the general information about your account. In the chat agents, you will see the list of all agents currently in your account and you will be able to add members of your customer support or sales team. They will be able to view and reply to messages from your users. And in the chat teams, you can organize those agents into groups or let's say teams based on their responsibilities. We have already looked at the chat inboxes here. Next, you can add some labels to help you organize your conversations. You can add some custom attributes for contacts, create some automations, for example, to add a label or assign conversation to a specific agent. Same like in Sendesk, you can also create different macros. A macros is a set of actions that your customer support agent or a sales team member perform often, and that's why you want to automate it to save them time. You can also create pre-written reply templates to save time. And last but not least, you can create different integrations using webhook and dashboard apps 
and also use different chat applications. What I find really cool that you can use Google Translate to make sure that your agent may translate messages and provide multi-language support and also integrate powerful AI using ChatGPT. The last thing that I want to show you today is that you can integrate Message Hub into your workflows in ClickFunnels 2.0. In my opinion, it's really powerful and you can automate a lot of flows this way. If you go to the marketing and then create a workflow, you can use the actions from the message hub as your triggers. You can see different actions here that you can select from, like agent started conversation, agent responded, or contact started conversation or responded. And on top of that, you can also automate the sending of the messages from Message Cup by selecting this action here. You will be able to select your inbox or in other words, communication channel, for example, site or email, and then create the message that you want to send. As you can see, Message Hub in ClickFunnels 2.0 is a powerful tool that has potential to replace other third-party services like Zendesk or Intercom that you may be using at the moment. It can streamline the communication with your leads and customers and also increase your conversion rate because you can easily integrate the Message Hub communication into workflows in ClickFunnels 2.0 and trigger different actions based on the conversation flow. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And I will see you in our future videos. Bye-bye.